morning! This is Dai and it's not morning! We are going out to dinner to Foon Lin, which has been one of our favorite places in Maryland for... Well, we found it, I think, on the first trip, so I'd say we've been coming out at least once a year for 12 years, so... We started eating at Foon Lin, I think, the second trip? Okay. Six months in with Caleb. We found Foon Lin and it became our favorite, and then we had to track it down because it moved. So that wasn't easy, but we found it after the move. I remember pulling up one day to go to Foon Lin and there was nothing there. It was so scary. It actually merged with another restaurant. So we're headed into Foon Lin to go eat Chinese food and they have a pina colada. That's why I was trying to remember what you had last year. I know you had some drink that you were in love with. I have a thing about pina coladas. The only place to get them at home is Casa Tequila. And they're virgin and it doesn't even matter because they're so good. All right, so in Maryland they honk. We were just watching somebody tailgate somebody else and honk at them for not running over pedestrians in the crosswalk. We don't honk at home. People in not Seattle are Unless you really screw up. Well, like if you're sitting at the intersection for 15 minutes and the light's been green, somebody might honk to wake you up. Mm -hmm. But usually it's a friendly like, hey buddy, looking out for ya, honking at ya, you're backing into me, please don't do that. But this is like a form of communication, I think. And then they're really, really rude to pedestrians. Like, they'll totally just run them I'm down. I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure if it's a form of communication or they're just rude on the East Coast. I'm not sure. But everybody honks and they like They to... inch towards pedestrians. Like, she's doing it right there, see? And they pressure them. They pressure them. Like, walk faster or I'm going to run you over, which is against the law at home. At home, it's against the law. If, if they catch you rolling out towards pedestrian, that's it. That's a ticket. You're not allowed to intimidate pedestrians with your car, but here, meh, sure, run them down. And the honking thing. So somebody chime in below, let me know where you live. Do they do that? Do they honk? Do they roll out of pedestrians? I'm just not used to it. We don't even jaywalk where I come from. Like, like if the light says don't walk, you don't walk. So I'm not used to that. We are not ever going to get to turn. <laughs> oh, you little thing. The cars just keep coming. And our food is here. Look at that. <laughs> what does your say? Be most affectionate today. It does not. Really? <laughs> not focusing. That's funny. <laughs> and what does mine say? Love truth, but pardon error. So basically, it's just, that was an error, but I will pardon it. <laughs> So I'm just getting advice today because mine are always lame. Going to get some dessert at the hotel. It's the rumble of eighth grade boys descending upon our hotel again. Oh, I saw a girl. Oh, nope, there's girls with them this time. I wonder if they'll have a dance again. A girl, probably a girl's dress and boys dance. Probably, so. Do you hear the rumble? It must be time to... Check out. <laughs> no, it must be time to Instagram at uh, the... Uh, Lincoln Memorial or to the no, there must be something <laughs> no they're just really young it'd be a great New York's a 16 year old trip and 8th grade is when they go to DC I don't know who decided this I always waited till my kids were 16 to bring them here because there was too many serious topics to cover I just thought of a funny story I was here with Vicky one year and the 8th graders had descended 
at the time the pool was open here and I remember coming up to the pool and it was bubbling. Like it looked like a hot tub because it was just bubbling with eighth graders. <laughs> anyway, so one morning, and they used to have a coffee shop here. We could get a cup of coffee or buy gifts in the gift shop. And uh, Vicki and I had gotten up in the morning and we'd come down to the coffee shop because it worked really well for breakfast, just get a muffin and a coffee, you know. We came down to the coffee shop. There's a line, like 10 eighth graders thick. And so you know it's gonna be a long time because the service wasn't really fast anyway. And so we go up and we get in this long line and get behind all these eighth graders. Well, down come two of the chaperones. They're obviously teachers. And they come down, they go, hey, you guys, get out of this line, get on the bus. And the kids bolt and they go running for the bus and they'd stepped in their spot. They were getting their coffee. <laughs> The bus wasn't leaving, they were just getting, but it made the light a lot shorter for me and Vicky, so it was worth it for that. That's mean. That was pretty mean and awesome. <laughs> All right, last night in the hotel. I'm gonna watch some TV and go to sleep. See you in the morning. Say good night to the internet. Good night. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See you soon. God bless. Get out of here. Go. Leave. It's over. Get out of here. Go.